Hey there. Next bounty. You ready to work? Yes. Good. This next bastard has it coming. His name is Cullen, and he's the new leader of the Jackals. For years, the NCR has kicked the shit out of the Jackals. But since the Republic is occupied with Caesar, the Raiders are recuperating. Even the sorry-ass Jackals are getting back on their feet, thanks to the charismatic Mr. Cullen. He's been responsible for numerous attacks on the roads south of Vegas, and he's developed a reputation for brutality and cunning. In short, his attacks are bad for business, so certain people want him removed. He's hiding out at that old police station south of town. Good luck. The police station, not too far away, just over these no, dusty it's, trails. Yeah, it's like right over here. 50 meters away, he couldn't be bothered to do it himself. I know, so. right? All right, fine. You're just like, oh, it's, I could go over there, but it's so far. Well, there's no air conditioning out there in the desert. Oh, so far. Oh, there it is. Go. <laughs> well, that's one dead, and hello, Jackal Specialist. Looks like these jackals have moved in now that we cleared out the previous tenants. Out. 12 o'clock. Oh, I guess maybe we missed a couple of mantises last time we were here. He's still dead. That dead prospector is still dead. Wow, imagine that, huh? Yeah. Who the fuck are you? What the? Uh, there's a bounty on your head and I'm here to collect it. You're gonna be collecting your ass. Nobody fucks with the jackals. Well, I just did. <laughs> 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 well, you just destroyed his hand! You destroyed Cullen's hand! We're supposed to collect the fingers! No, the fingers are like there! It's right there! See, that's the finger! That's just a bloody organ- Alright. Alright, fine. We'll remove this finger Yeah, then. don't- don't- don't! It's very, very simple. We just start by making a small, gunshot-induced incision here- Oh! <laughs> Alright, his finger's somewhere. Everyone on your hands and knees, we gotta find his finger. <laughs> It's somewhere around here. Okay. If you can't see it, just lay it out on the floor and put your eye next to the floor. You'll be able to see what's sticking up. Oh, there's pieces of Cullen all the way over. Oh, there's his fingers! <laughs> oh, no, we're good, Mike. I found his fingers. Hooray! They're right here. Oh, man, today's just full of goofiness. Collect Whoa. another one of my bounties, eh? You're taking a bite out of my income, kid. I want my hands right now, or it's your ass. What? Fork it over, right now. One thousand caps. I'm not a bounty hunter, I'm a traveling folk singer! Oh, there once was a man, he lived on a mountain, he had a big red beard and he's a piece of shit. His name was Dwayne the Coyote <laughs> Collins, and he... And he and spent his days eating shit! He's a big old dork and he fucked his mom! <laughs> I think I'll just kill you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You guys really need to stop walking directly up to me <laughs> and having conversations. Seriously, it's just not a good idea, man. Coyote, after your inquiry about having sex with your mother... <laughs> That's not what it That's says. That's not what it says. That's not what it says. Coyote, you have a big red beard and you're a piece of shit. <laughs> stop eating poop, it's really gross. <laughs> after your inquiry in the paucity... I don't think that's a real word. P-A-U-C-I-T-Y... After your inquiry into the paucity, the dearth, maybe? I thought dearth was a, a large amount. No. Dearth, dearth is a, is a shortage. Oh, okay. After your inquiry into the dearth of contracts as of late... Or shortage, if you prefer the word shortage. I investigated the matter in full. It's come to my attention that a new firm, Randall & Associates, has been utilizing Zank, an up-and-coming contractor in the Mojave. I'm a contractor. Are they not including me and Hope? I, I guess it's just me. Your unquestioning loyalty and determination to see the success of our organization is appreciated. So consider this information a token of our continuing partnership. I trust you will deal with the matter shortly. Sincerely, Judge Richter. Well, Judge Richter is not happy with me. Judge and Richter. therefore, by association, you. What? I didn't do anything to Judge Richter. I don't even know who he is. I don't know who he is either. Yeah. yeah we'll take his finger. <laughs> <laughs> How ironic. That the coyote, the bounty hunter, would spend his life hunting bounties, and then he himself was killed by a bounty hunter. And then left for the coyotes of his namesake! <laughs> Randall, you won't believe what just happened! A coyote tried to kill me! Is Cullen dead? Yes! Outstanding job. Come back when you're ready for work. 
We also got you a different finger from Dwayne. Yeah. There's no bounty on it, but I know you're making a necklace or whatever you said, so here you go. Yeah, I know that you value these, and this one is just between us friends. <laughs> What's the most dangerous bounty you've ever pursued? Please tell me. Regale me. It's Marco, isn't it? I'm going to guess it's Marco. It's probably Marco. The most dangerous? Hmm. I'd have to think about that. There's tons of men that were plenty mean, and more than a few were just crazy. But dangerous? I'd have to go with Doc Friday. Old Doc isn't your typical doctor. I hear he was an orthodontist before the war. Whatever the fuck that is. Doc's a ghoul gunslinger, and I'm speaking about him in the present tense because he's almost certainly still alive. Years ago, a bounty came up on Doc because he had shot an actor in the testicles. <laughs> I never liked actors, so I decided to give Doc a chance and explain his side of the story. He was quite affable, despite being a ghoul. So many of them are self-pitying pissants, but Doc never whined. He just treated everyone with courtesy. We talked it over. And he was so damn likable, I agreed to settle his bounty on a game of cards. Sure enough, that slick bastard took me for everything, so I let him go. I'm glad I did, because later, I heard about his reputation. Despite his polite nature, old Doc is the fastest goddamn pistol in the region, maybe in the whole fucking continent. Ooh. He once smoked an entire squad of legionaries that tried to arrest him for drug smuggling. He wiped them out in seconds, supposedly. He still drifts from here to there, always with that ghoul whore at his side. No Face Kate was her name, I think. Gross. If you ever encounter him, I'd advise you to return his courtesy. Shit, I got distracted again. Are we going to work or not, damn it? Yes. No. We've killed legions of legions before and no one's praised our names yet. Yeah, exactly. Well, actually, there's been a couple people that praised our names. Dwayne was praising our name. But not because we killed legions of legions. Let's just go around and spread a bunch of false rumors about Dwayne. <laughs> Just to dishonor his memory. Dwayne was a coward. The last bounty he tried to go for was Eileen, but after he had his dick cut off, he decided to go after jaywalkers. Because <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't handle actual bounties. Maybe that's not as believable, <laughs> but we'll, we'll run with that. This next bounty has a fine payoff. Target is Tony Idaho, a young man who's shaken up the drug trade in the Mojave. He's been able to put more dope on the market at cheaper rates and all his competitors, including the cons, who are not too pleased. You're definitely getting a reputation. The client asks for you by name. Ooh. They want Tony to bite the dust immediately. Good luck. Cool! We are becoming famous, but we're becoming famous for murder. How do you feel about that? I, you know, hey, famous is famous, you know? We've already been through here. Wait, hold on. Are those giant geckos? <laughs> yeah. yeah, those are the giant geckos yeah. that we killed, and this one's head was like stretching way off into nowhere. Uh, and then and giant here's the, axe. Here's a floating axe. Would you like to save before we go into Tony Idaho's drug den? Nah, I don't think this is going to be a problem. Let's jump right in. Okay. What in the name of fuck are you doing in here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, uh, I'm here to see Mr. Idaho. It's extremely urgent. Oh, no, no, whoa, no way, jackass. <laughs> he, oh. didn't, he didn't buy it. Why you, I got mail for him. I'm a mailman. We are a couple of couriers. Couriers, we're couriers. Couriers are we. We're the singing couriers. Perhaps you've heard of us. Bum, 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 bum. Brownie bum, Dalton bum, bum, is a piece bum, bum, of shit. I don't like his nose and I don't like his eyes. As soon as we're done with this conversation, I'm going to shoot you in the thighs. You what? <laughs> oh, you won't leave here alive, bitch. <laughs> Shoot him in the thighs! Shoot him in the thighs! <laughs> you ain't gonna win this. Now that we've killed his bodyguard here, Tony Idaho. No, no, he knows he knows we're hostile. Okay. Oh, I just got the reference. What? What is the reference? He's Tony Idaho, and he's a drug dealer. It's a reference to Tony Montana. I can't remember the name of the movie now. I, okay, well, we, let me know what you think of it. Let's see it's, if you guys got anything got on him. It's, uh, say hello to my little friend! Oh, I am familiar with that quote, yes. Yeah. My little friend He's is got his a... gun. Well, you might actually want my little friend. Are you going to buy me dinner first? Tony, I'll keep supplying the materials as long as you supply the caps. And another thing, don't fuck me, Tony. Did you ever try to fuck me? Is that also a reference to Tony Montana? It probably is, I'm not sure. I can't remember really much of the movie. Aside from all the running around we've had to do, these bounties, really easy. Killed Colin, yeah. killed the coyote, killed Tony Idaho. Not too terribly difficult. 
I think Eileen was probably the most difficult one. Because, Only because she was surrounded by a hundred other... Yeah, teams. and I also ran in there with a chainsaw. Is Tony dead yet? Yes, he is. Outstanding work. Take a break, kid. You've earned it. Yeah, Randall said we should take a break, so I figure Prim. Prim's got a casino. Well, Maybe it's Prim, up and running. Prim does have a casino. We'll see if it's up and running. You know what we could do while we're here as well, besides gambling? Pick up a floating iBot. We have two companions. We're fine. Do you want more robots? Do you want more robots? <laughs> I didn't really think about it. If we recruit Edie, the robots will outnumber the humans, and that's not a good place for us to be in. Why? <laughs> That's like the uh, second time you've gotten hope with that. Oh boy. man, how do you always fall? You always fall for that. That would be probably one of the most evil things you could do is set up a bear trap and then have somebody step in it and just be like, "Oh, you always fall for that joke." <laughs> oh, look at you bleeding all over the floor. I I could not even stand it. Prim Casino. There's. Where's the? What are you doing here? Ah! This is our casino, punk. What? What? There's no one here. It's an empty casino, punk. Uh, that's my line. Huh. You've got moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to tourists on our turf. 100 caps should cover this trip into our territory. I was gonna say, aren't you deserters, but you're kinda cute. She's kinda cute for someone who's threatening to kill you. Yeah, she's kinda cute, though. In a little dirty heroin addict way. <laughs> yeah. I like to think that we're prisoners of war that managed to escape before capture. I don't know how long it'll be before the Legion crosses the river, but sure as fuck, I don't want to be wearing an NCR uniform when they get here. You're still wearing an NCR helmet. At the current rate they're going, though, it's probably going to be a few more years, don't worry. I can help if you'll let me. How are you going to help them? I have no idea. You know, Layla, you look like the kind of person who needs a bit of intimate satisfaction, and I can help you yeah, with that. Yeah, I can help you with that. Between you and me, kind of a cutie. It's two other nerds. Just get rid of them, though. You gotta lose zeros. You look like the kind of woman who could use some dick in their life. And I've got about 30 I picked off of Eileen's corpse. <laughs> <laughs> we figured we'd make some money in New Vegas and then beat feet. Nobody make the obvious foot joke. And then we'd head north or something and take our caps to start up a ranch or something. Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Why not just turn yourselves in? No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't going to throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. I imagine the NCR doesn't deal with deserters kindly. Yeah. If we see the NCR, they'll be waiting for us with a bullet to the brain pan. So what are we supposed to do? Just run? Yeah, go to New Canaan. Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows up. How about that? We settled that confrontation without violence. She's gone. She is gone. I'm sad. You want to go chase after her? Yeah. The only person who smelled worse than I do and she's gone. Well, uh, the casino's not open. We can't do any gambling here. All right, never mind. I didn't even see the sheriff. Sheriff Prim isn't here. Yeah, how come Sheriff Prim didn't catch you? Where's Prim Slim when you need him? What about Sheriff Not Sheriff here? Yeah, Sheriff Not Sheriff. Need to talk about something? Let's talk about how we recruited you to be a sheriff, and then we made sure you weren't sheriff. Yeah. Watch yourself out there. Oh, was that a threat, Myers? I think he's threatening us. <laughs> I think he's threatening us. Water! You Delicious, thirsty? clean water. Are you thirsty? Yes! We have been drinking. Going for a swim? Y you're... I'm having fun. That he said to relax, so let's just have a nice swim. My Geiger counter is detecting heavy amounts of radiation in that It's puddle. not heavy, it's barely any! Oh look, you're swimming! Who's having fun, Mike? I'm having fun! Yay! Swimming! Oh, why can't I jump into this water? My legs aren't working properly. It must be all the radiation. <laughs> you're, you're uh, gonna... You guys need to move away from each other. They're doing some very intense hey. swimming. Hey! Hey! Room for one more? Get out of here! <laughs> Break it up, you two! Don't make me get the garden hose. <laughs> no having weird freaky robot sex in the pool. Keep your robo genitals Look where I me, can I'm see them. Look at me, I'm swimming, I'm doing the backstroke. I think Vincent's over here doing the breaststroke. <laughs> you know how fucked up this country is? We once elected a guy named Dick Richardson. President. That's right. The guy's name was literally Penis Cockboy, and we thought he'd make a good leader. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of Dick Richardson. What, you never heard of President Dick Richardson? No, is that really a U.S. president? 
According to the canon of this game, yes. Oh, okay. I thought you meant... Penis when... Cockboy was actually Richard Nixon's last name before he changed it.